Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is Domina Mara, and welcome to my new studio. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you know when new videos are out. I have videos or live stream every Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And don't forget to follow my Instagram and Twitter accounts at Mara Domina so that you know when I'm traveling next, what I'm doing next, and so on. As some of you may know, I'm upgrading my home in order to have better filming backgrounds and to fully enjoy areas that I've made my own since we were kept indoors during these difficult times. The easiest room to transform was the room in which I spend most of my day working, streaming, and lounging. So welcome to my new studio space called The Sunroom. It was inspired by Moroccan interior design and sprinkling my own tastes. This outfit that I'm wearing, I made myself from a pair of $5 red pants, originally for tribal fusion dance since I partake in that art form. You can follow my Goddess Mara YouTube channel found in my link below for reference. My intention of this video is to show the process and results of my home transformation and what makes me happy. I have three main rooms in my home, two bedrooms and a living area, and because of this I divided my home into body, mind, and soul. This studio is represented by body, where I'll be filming a good majority of central topics. The red of the space makes it lush with passion and where I'm going to be the most creative. Let's take a look. As you guys have seen from my previous live streams, I have a bed pushed to the corner. It's a really old one with the same sheets that were brown and white walls that have old paint on them. And I had a moving blanket to cover up one of the windows as well as a bookshelf that was just really unorganized. And I had also a guitar hanging up beside it, which I don't play. I wanted to do something with the room since I film in here so often. And so what came to mind was a bunch of images that I had saved from house inspo. And I went with a Moroccan theme because I really liked how sensual it is and it fit the vibe of the room really well. So I originally started with the ceiling because I really detest these 70s popcorn textures that people somehow like to cover their surfaces with. And because I couldn't scrape it off, I didn't have permission to do that, I decided to cover it up with some tool. And so I started out with white tool and draped it across two of the walls so that it overlapped on the corner. And then I took red tool uh, which is kind of more like a burgundy and draped it from the center all across the perimeter of the room. As you can see, it made a huge difference being in the background of the ASMR rainbow corset video. So I ended up finding this really beautiful black trunk. It was $40. There was a little bit of rusting that was starting to happen on the edges of the hinges and so I took white vinegar and just went over those with a good scrub and most of it came off, of course, after sanitizing everything inside and out. It came with silver trim which didn't really go with the theme that I was going for, which was the red and gold. And so I decided to paint over it with my metallic gold acrylic paint. I was going to put this next to the bookshelf where I have all of my awesome toys that I've reviewed and things that I've owned previously. 
I purchased this stud finder because I didn't want to guess where supporting beams were going to be and since I was going to be drilling a lot of holes in my apartment, I decided that this was the best way to go. I found these really lightweight mirrors for $15 for all four of them and so I used the stud finder to see if I could place these along a beam so that I didn't need any anchors but I didn't end up using either of them and they hung perfectly fine between the tool. I initially named the studio space the sunroom not just for the decor but because this is where the sun usually sets every day on the far wall. I also ended up using the mini lanterns from the Flow music video, Oracle, and put them against the solo sun mirror against the wall with the window, and it paired together nicely. I always thought that red satin sheets were really pretty, and so I got myself a set. And I also found this really amazing duvet with shams. There were about seven pieces and I have to custom make the filling for a couple of them because they were really large, but I ended up purchasing a couple of extra pillowcases that were square to really accentuate the corner. I really just want a lounge space where I can watch YouTube videos or relax and what better way to do that than to lean on a bunch of cushions. I also got these pre-made curtains that matched the brocade of the duvet set perfectly and it came with a valance on the top of both of them. They were the perfect size from the top of the window all the way down to the floor and they came with these gorgeous tassels. The duvet set was $40 for everything and the curtains were $15 for both. These three red tinted canopic type jars were also a perfect match for the room and so I ended up using two of them for these Tenga eggs that I got from Honey Birdette and also some protection packets. I have a compass that I've had for a little bit and a red mask that I wore to an event earlier in the year. The third jar ended up being a door stopper. These were larger than I expected them to be, but they were the perfect size to hold these items. All three were $13. I was also fortunate to find this chandelier that somebody was getting rid of and I didn't really like the candle holder design in the middle so I actually removed that after spraying the whole thing down. I decided to buy my own LED strip that I lined the inside of the brass with that was battery operated since there was no outlet in the ceiling. These sheer black panels were $2 each and so I bought 8 to 10 of them to use to cover the bookshelf after organizing it as a way to black out any distractions for when I film. And I also attached bronze hooks to the side so that when I do want to expose the interior I would be able to drape the panels to the side.
felt like something was missing in front of the toy trunk. So I searched for the smallest oriental rug that I could find and I found this perfect burgundy one that now sits at the foot of the bed. In 2017, I went to Croatia and I took a day trip to Bosnia and I bought these Turkish lamps, two of them. One of them was a standing one and one of them was a hanging one. I opted to try out the standing one, but realized that the bulbs were European. They were E14s and so I had to go and switch out the entire casing so that I could do an E12 lamp bulb that would fit American. And the plug was also European, so I had to change that as well. Luckily, the person at Ace Hardware was an electrician and he did all of that complimentary. I realized that I bought two sizes of the lanterns and the rainbow one was too big for the standing lamp. It was supposed to be the blue one, but the blue didn't match the color scheme of the red and gold anyway, so I opted to do the hanging lamp. And luckily, AV knew about electricity, so he was able to recreate what the electrician did with the hanging lamp. Au café du quartier, un vieux me regardait. Dans ses yeux le reflet, la vie doit continuer. C'était pas le bon jour. I used the hole where the guitar used to hang and I hung the lamp there. I liked this better than the standing lamp because I was able to wire it behind the bookshelf and plug it into the wall and it gave a nice ambiance feel aligning with the sun mirrors to the left of it. The last part was the sliding closet, which looked stark white compared to the rest of the room. So I wanted to do something to cover it. And what better way to do that with granite contact paper. I found this rose gold pattern that suited it nicely and it was really easy to apply. I'm still contemplating on this black light activated psychedelic tapestry in the background, but this is where I do all of my editing and that yummy ASMR that you hear on my YouTube channel. Hello everyone, this is Domina Mara speaking. Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about ASMR, so if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Follow my Instagram and Twitter accounts at Mara Domina. And let's get started. So I spent about $1,000 for the whole renovation of my home. This room in particular is about $3.30. The sun mirrors behind me were $15. The set of lanterns that are hanging over there were $21. The bedspread was $40, including all the pillows. The tool, which is covering the ceiling and the walls, were probably the most expensive thing, which was $57. Total. The curtains were already sewn and were $15. The rug on the floor was $13. The trunk that holds all my goodies is $40. And the Moroccan lamp that was on the wall is about $35. The red jars that hold other goodies are $13. And the latest addition is the contact paper marble wall and that one was about 42. And the chandelier was free, <laughs> um, but I added the LED lights inside of it, which uh, were about $5. Let's take a look at the studio.
So that concludes my studio tour. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it so that other people can be inspired while they're stuck at home. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when the next two rooms are going to be released on my YouTube channel. Follow my Instagram and Twitter accounts at Mara Domina. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep it kinky, everyone.